Hi guys, uh, doing something a little different today. It's not furniture. Kinda is, kinda isn't, I guess. Um, just gonna be painting some kitchen cabinets. Uh, yeah. Wanna try and get this done as quick as I can so that we can get them into mum's kitchen and she can stop nagging me to get them done. And so I can get back to trying to get ahead of everything else I've got going on. So, Let's get going. Not yet. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank Holly and Wanda for buying me coffees in the Buy Me A Coffee app. Much appreciated. I will definitely buy coffees with those. And I'd also like to give another thanks to my, not secret admirer, I almost said secret admirer, my um, anonymous purchaser. for purchasing and sending me these LED staging lights for my photography along with some, you know, strawberry filled biscuits that are all gone. So thank you very much. Um, the link for my buy me a coffee and the link for my Amazon wish list will be in the description of this video. Alright, so today I am painting these glass cabinet doors for my mother's kitchen. Um, these handles have already been taken off and they are getting replaced with ones that will match the new kitchen that's in new cabinets that are in the lower part of the kitchen. Alright, so I've removed all of the glass panes and laid everything out, made sure, made sure everything is off, including little sticky rubbery things here that stop the doors from slamming. Um, and now I'm going to use some pre-mixed Cartsamilli clean cut in this spray bottle to give everything a good clean front and back. Alright, so the existing holes from the previous handles are too far apart, so I'm just going to use some builder's bog to fill the top hole on each door, and I'll just use the bottom hole. <laughs> I'll just use the bottom hole, the, the hole on the lower part of the door, and drill a new one to make them the right distance apart for the new handles. Okay, so these are the handles that are going on. Um, these are from the Caboodle range from Bunnings. I did try explaining this whilst I was doing it, but the birds kept screeching in the background and you couldn't hear me. So these are the, that's showing the existing holes and the one that I filled. Um, so these handles do come with the size on them. It, this one says 96 millimeters. Um, so you can just use your ruler and measure where the holes go, but in this case I ended up using a piece of tape to mark where the hole, how far, uh, to mark how far apart the holes need to go and went that way. Oh my god.
All right, so I've been keen to use this stuff for a while now. Um, not sure why I haven't used it up until now, but I might go to for surfaces that are glossy or anything like that, or like glass or metal, it is my Cartsamilli Primer and Adhesive Bond. It makes everything stick to everything. But giving this a go for these cabinet dolls, because they're not only kind of glossy, but they're like a real plasticky finish, and I don't really want to sand them because, you know, yeah. Anyway, figured it's a good opportunity to give this a go. So let's see, shall we? Uh, <clears throat> how to use ESP. Uh, I can't read that without thinking extra sensory perception. Remove all loose paint. I don't have any loose paint. Apply ESP with a green scourer. assume this will do. That is a scourer, yes. So apply it with a green scourer and allow it to penetrate for five minutes. Penetrate. Wipe off excess evenly with a dry lint free soft green, with a dry lint free soft green, oh my god, dry lint free soft clean cloth. You try saying that really fast and see how you go. Paint anytime after 90 minutes. All right, let's go. Alright, so these have all dried overnight. They didn't need to have overnight to dry, but I wasn't going to start painting them for an afternoon. So, I'll see if you can see it. A lot of the surfaces still look like they did before. And very smooth. And from what I've seen from other people, um, the stuff that you use, like the ESP, ends up kind of sticky and rough which would make sense because you want the paint to have something to stick to. So like, I'll try and show you here. See, it's all, you can see it there. And then it, there's a smooth spot there. But yeah, um, I suppose the only way to see if it's actually gonna work is to try it out. So I've, I've got to go and take my son to school. But whilst I'm taking him, him to school, this will be left to dry uh, if you can see it but there's some white there so I'm doing a test patch to see if the paint will adhere and we are using Dulux um, <laughs> Dulux aqua enamel and using the I believe it's doors window and trim so it's an enamel, it's semi-gloss, and it is vivid white. All right, scratch test. I've already tested it there, so I'm basically just showing you that it hasn't worked. So, yeah. So I'm going to eat something while I work out what to do. Alright, so I've given up on the ESP and I've gone back to what I know and trust, which is Cartsamilli Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond. I applied it to part of this door just to try it out and see how it goes with the aqua enamel. And I've been standing here with the heat gun drying it and you can see where the primer has dried. So smooth. And you can see the difference between this and where the... Um, ESP is and I'm standing here with the heat gun trying to dry it I'm like why won't this part dry everything else dried really fast and really smooth and this is just not drying like 
there's no primer there. I missed that spot. All right, so this section here where you can see the difference. So I've put some of the aqua enamel here, just one coat, and I dried it with the heat gun. And let's see how we go. I'll try and get it so that, to make sure that you can see it. So scratch test. Nice. All right, so definitely going with the Cart Simile primer and adhesive bond because it works. I got so caught up listening to music and zoning out that I forgot to record me applying the primer, so have this slow motion brush stroke instead. Alright, so I've been brushing on the aqua enamel up until now um, because I just didn't want to roll. I, I didn't think a roller would do very well on these parts and I didn't want to use a roller just for that one. Um, but it was leaving a ton of brush strokes and just wasn't giving me a very nice finish. Um, so I've swapped to a roller. And I'm just using one of these ones that I got from Amazon. Uh, <clears throat> I thought it was like, cause it's really long nap. I thought it was gonna be pretty crap, but um, yeah. So a couple of the pieces have come off, but I just picked those off the surface as they came off and like there's literally two pieces that came off. I thought it was going to shed a lot more than that. Um, but I'll show you here. It's actually doing all right. Now I've only got a very small amount of paint on this roller. And because it's a thick nap, it's actually getting into all those spaces quite well. So for a cheap roller, cheap roller sleeves, they're doing all right. Well, it helps if I actually show you. So I'm just going into all these parts first and then I'll go around the bigger parts and um, roll it all out like that. So, like so. So it's not doing too bad. I'm still not a fan of this paint. Once I'm done doing this stuff for mum, I won't be using it again. Um, you know, each to their own, but I'm just not sure how people can stand painting furniture with this stuff. It just does not feel nice. Um, it could be a case of, you know, I, I've gotten used to using Carts and Millie paint for everything and it's just such an easy paint to use that I can just brush it on easily and not worry about brush strokes or anything like that. And it's just super easy to use. It's foolproof. So I'm going to keep rolling these and you guys don't want to see me painting white so I'll leave it here and then show you when it's all done and getting hung up. Alright so I had the intention of um, putting the camera on my husband and recording him hanging the doors. I can't hang these with, from these hinges for some reason, I just can't get the knack for them. I understand how they work, I just can't do it. I don't know, it's just one of the very few things I can't do. Um, so we hung them and I've got the end panel on. There they are, looking nice and white and fresh. Now I'm turning around. So there they are, end panel is on. I had to cut a little bit out here to allow for the tiles. The tiles, original tiles weren't up this high. So these cabinets were in the kitchen that was here before. Mum has had a new kitchen put in. So the reason this door isn't on is because I had to trim this piece here and I've filled it with Bondo and I need to sand it smooth and paint it and all of that because 
I put this piece of trim here to tidy it up, to tidy up all of this corner area and make it look all nice. But now the door hits that, so I've had to trim it and I've got to tidy all that up and then we can put the last door on and that'll be done. But it looks good. I might have to turn the inside lights off so that you can see it properly. There you go. That's better. come up quite nice I think. And these are just the handles like the caboodle handles that match the bottom cupboards but yeah it's looking good and it's getting there and hopefully hopefully she can move out of our house soon. Alright so now that we're all done this video did start out as kind of a you know it was just me showing you what I was doing to paint the cabinet doors but I'd say it's definitely become more of a adhesive bond primer versus ESP um, now I'm gonna start this off by saying uh, there is always a chance that I've done something wrong this was my first time using ESP so of course you know I could have stuffed it up somewhere there is absolutely a good chance I did that um, but I am a firm believer in sticking with what you know and sticking with what you trust. I trust the Cartamilli Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond. Um, so the fact that I have reverted back to that, you know, affirms what I trust and what I believe in. Um, I'm not saying this is a bad product. I will definitely give it a go again, especially considering I've already paid for this and I'm not one for wasting things, so I'll give it a go again at some point. Um, and if it works better the next time I use it, uh, I will obviously let you guys know. Um, yeah. If you think that I've done something wrong with how I used it, feel free to let me know. I'm sure someone will. <laughs> That's usually how these things work. Um, but yeah, the Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond uh, will stick to pretty much anything. This stuff, I trust every time to do its job. All right, so that's it for now, guys. Um, anything that I've used in this video will be in the description, as always as well as my buy me a coffee link and my amazon wishlist link and yeah as always don't forget to subscribe if you are a loyal watcher and you watch all my videos but you aren't yet subscribed please subscribe yeah i think that's it all right so i will see you on the next one bye